Today, I'm gonna cook a meal. This one's from the current issue of our Everyday Magazine. Um, and this is the updated Salisbury steak, AKA a knife and fork hamburger. That's, that's really all it is, was like fancy hamburger. It's hamburger with gravy. I never had a hungry man one. My mom made our knife and fork burgers. She always served them on a, a toast point, a little piece of toast. And we always had mashed potatoes on the side. Um, so I'm making the laziest of mashed potatoes, which means you start with baby potatoes so you don't have to peel or cube them. And I always throw four or five cloves of crushed garlic in with the potatoes. So when you make the mash, it's a garlicky mashed potato. Um, in the middle, I started our Salisbury gravy, which was mushrooms and onions, of course. So I've got our gravy started. Regular white mushrooms, you can use cremini's shiitakes, maitakes, or hen of the woods. And I just take a few uh, caps per person or per portion. So for the burger portion of this, it's kind of like a mashup between a burger and a meatloaf. We're gonna make little mini oval loaves. Take my rings off so I can get, get in there, get in there. Oh, also going into our mushrooms, you could throw this in at the beginning. A bay leaf, fresh or dried, a little thyme, and a little sage. That'll give some great flavor to our mushroom gravy. Dry herbs you can throw in there because they're not gonna pull out any of the liquid from the mushroom. Okay, so for the meat, I've already seasoned it with kosher salt and black pepper. I have a cast iron skillet preheating over uh, medium high heat. Crack an egg into a small dish in case you get a bit of shell in. Whip up the egg, drop that in. Salt and pepper the meat so you know it's evenly distributed. Then sprinkle in a handful of breadcrumb. Add some dry mustard, a oh, third to a half a palm. Same of granulated onion and granulated garlic. A fat squirt of tomato paste or sun-dried tomato paste. And with anything that has ground beef or ground turkey, always Worcestershire sauce. Nice douse of that. Take your rings off. Get in there and mix, but don't over mix the meat and form four oval shaped patties. Whenever you're making burgers or patties of any kind of protein to make sure you end up with the same size and shape, you wanna score the meat. So I'm gonna put this together back in kind of an even pile, score it with the side of my hand, then I know I'm grabbing roughly the same amount for each patty. I added the onion, one small onion, some garlic to our thyme, sage, bay leaf, and brown mushrooms. Remember, brown the mushrooms first, then add a little salt and pepper. Add in your flour, a couple tablespoons, stir it around to let it cook out. You don't want it to taste like paste. Once it cooks out a bit, we're gonna add a little splash of soy sauce or tamari. And some beef stock. And let that thicken up. Yeah, you ain't getting this at any frozen dinner in a tray. Okay, so we flipped our uh, Salisbury steaks. I just flipped those over. Now I've turned the heat back to medium to let them finish cooking through nice and slow. The potatoes and the garlic, baby potatoes, any color you like, you drain them off and put them right back in the hot pot. So now we have a garlicky mash. To that, a little splash of milk or chicken stock. A lot of chives, like copious amounts of chives. And a few pats of butter because everything is better with butter. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, potatoes love salt. So do I. And a little pepper. And then smash them up. You're not going for super light and fluffy, just a nice coarse mash that's garlicky and that mild onion flavor from the chives. Smells good. We put the meat patty on little white toast points, trim the crust, and that's to catch all the juices from the meat. And then we're going to top that with our mushroom, onion, garlic, and herb gravy. Timberlake's bringing back sexy. I'm bringing back Salisbury steak. <laughs> Don't encourage that, really. <laughs> um, and then my mom would also make a little puddle of mashed potato. And then she'd take the back of the spoon and make a, a, like a little well 
for extra gravy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes! Well, parsley.